What is up? Black Diamond Club, book yourself solid. Entrepreneurs, service providers, friends, family, distinguished guests, dignitaries, and President Joe Biden. Welcome. Welcome. To Sean and Lacey live. So excited to have Woo! you. Boy, do we have a special show for you. Emails are going out from YouTube and all your friends. We are live, super pumped up because today we are giving away five. Is it five? How many Four. hundred? Four. Four hundred dollars. Next week, it could be potentially five. Remember, we got confused because we did a early podcast It's only recording. at $400. Nobody's going to be on here. You know, only at $400. People don't, people don't show up for $400. I don't I know. I show up for we $400. Have, everybody like, you know, well, you're super monetized, but these people, they don't show up for 400 bucks. How many people are on there? 14? 24 so far. See? More There's people are showing 10. up as we All keep right, talking. folks, you know what to do. Hit subscribe. Make yes. sure that you throw Skip us a like, yeah. share tonight's broadcast, let people know that we are helping service providers to reach more people, make an even bigger impact, and create the lifestyle that you deserve. We got our own meme on, the, on, the, on the tagline. What? Love it. We got our own meme on our the tagline. Yeah. You said I need to be a, a meme creator. Yeah, because you were dropping bombs today on one of the one of the podcast that we were doing earlier and you were you were on fire i hope you're on fire tonight you still feel on fire james taylor said he shows up for you the money is just a nice bonus and i, know, I must be like chopped liver because i didn't even make the list no james, thank you james knows he's got it he's he knows smart. what that i'm chopped liver no he knows that show up for sean mm -hmm. money's just a mm -hmm. bonus there you go all right just a nice bonus just thanks <laughs> james Appreciate you. Well, on that note, we've got a great guest tonight. I'm very yeah, excited because we we said we were going to be bringing guests on the show every yeah, once I in a while it. to talk about stuff that you guys are working on or need more help with. So we're super excited for our guest tonight, but we probably have announcements first. Let's do, Let's announcements, do announcements, folks. First. Hey, well, no, I, we should do announcements scattered through because we only have the 14 people who are on now. 41. Everybody misses out. We're giving away $400. Oh, have little faith. I think that we should do announcements right mm. before we pull the four names. $400, oh. four names. We're giving away $400 tonight. You guys know the rules. Check your check your tech. Put some comments in. Make sure that it's working. Um, you know, say hello to the folks in the room. Yeah. Um, that way you can be sure that your your tech is working. You can see that it's it's transmitting quickly Say hello, especially and then a if little bit new. later we draw four names you must be present to claim your four hundred dollars if we draw four names and nobody tony wins here. then tony Hi, tony yeah. the hockey tony the goalie i love tony the goalie tony the goalie giordani yeah love it <laughs> Sounds like somebody that's from like Jersey or something. Like tonight Tony is the or not, today is my mom's birthday. Did you call her? Not yet. She yeah. was asking me today if people actually win the money on the show. <laughs> <laughs> like we plant them or something? Or? I don't know. Oh, she, she's no, so like cute. nobody ever wins. She said. Oh, she's so cute because she watches us sometimes. She does watch. She's like, I've never seen she anybody likes our win. Stuff. So we're up to four hundred dollars. Everybody, please, somebody win for Marlene Dill's birthday. Somebody's somebody win. win. This is going to be and great. And please then reach out to her and let her know because yeah, if, if you she's win, so cute. You she's... can send her like she doesn't need anything. No. You can send her like a dollar in the mail. <laughs> say, this is part of my winnings, Marlene. Do you remember when they, people used to send dollars in the mail? That was actually great marketing. What? You never, you never. We've gotten dollars in the mail. I had one put oh. up on. Oh yeah, on the I'd desk. send two dollar bills. That'd be better. Oh, that'd be good. Yeah. All right, I want to jump right in. I'm going to save the. I'm going to save the announcements for right before. You don't want to do one announcement, like you said, scattered. No. All right, what do you got? Surprises, James. Bourbon nights. This is coming up on. Um, coming up here in just very soon. A week? Is it a week? Week? Two weeks? Two weeks? Two weeks? September first and third. Taking a group of fine gentlemen out to the Stonewood Ranch. Check out that place. It's unbelievable. Yeah. Looks amazing. We're going to be shooting handguns, ARs, shotguns, <laughs> little clay pigeon You're doing sporting event. I think James Taylor is going. Things. James Taylor is going to see me and all of the guns and the bourbon and the amazing food. That's just extra. That's what he says. It's a great James men's Taylor. retreat. 
Yes. It's a great retreat. And I believe, if I'm not mistaken, that that is the first week of football. We have oh an amazing, goodness. an amazing theater room. You can look up the Stonewood Ranch so you can see where you'll be hanging out with us. Um, we packed the room with amazing food, some bourbon. We'll watch some football. But really, it's most great. importantly, we're going to mastermind. It is. You're going to mastermind. You're going to connect. You're going to do a, a lot of amazing activities. And hey, listen, ladies, it's really great for me, too, you know, because <laughs> I just get to like read books and binge out on Netflix. And yeah, but all the ladies <laughs> want to know, when are you bringing back Champagne CEOs? I know. we got to do a That was your retreat. signature event. That's why we started Bourbon Nights, because the guys were like, wait a minute. What about the us? The girls are going out and having a killer time. They're on yachts. They're doing all kinds of fun stuff. Um, I know that you're in a process right now of retooling it, spinning it up, making it bigger and better. So many people want to collaborate with you. So, I mean, yeah. I'm excited because basically like a who's who of female entrepreneurs that you're uh, you're able to choose from. I'm excited to see who you end up partnering with and what you guys end up doing. But guys, bourbonnights.com. Make sure that you get on that. Um, it's just a couple weeks away. We have just a few more beds in the, in the what is that? In the lodge. In the lodge for you. So make sure that you jump on that. Get yourself registered. We'd love to have you. We have an absolute blast it's a fantastic mm -hmm. time let's do one more what do you got up there james next cool thing oh look at this lineup sunday night we're going to be rolling into st louis i was shocked i got to tell Wait, you two hold on. people what are you today all looking at in your photos you all look in the same way <laughs> yeah like hey who's over there except hakeem everybody's looking at hakeem hakeem's looking at you we're all looking at hakeem <laughs> <laughs> it's great he must be the Check star out who's of the coming show. to the Capitol Grill on, on. Well, I gotta tell you, I had I had two people, two people today on the phone tell me that man, I'm sorry, and I'm not able to make it on Sunday. One guy was from New York. I was like, well, you, well that's like a long drive. He yeah, was like, no, I was getting ready to drive out there. Another guy from Las Vegas. Yeah, I was like, I'm I, I'm looking to come out there. Look, these are amazing opportunities because people come in. Uh, we stack the room. We got David Meltzer. Uh, we got Andre Fluellen. We've got uh, John Rule. I'm super pumped to see John. I haven't seen John since Appendix John at summer camp. Yeah. When he drove the night. After he got his, appendix, he had his appendix removed. removed. He, he put a bed in the backseat of a van and had somebody drive him so yes. he could lay down because he was in so much pain. That's commitment, man. He was like, I'm going to show up for this thing because I committed. But that's why he's John. Yeah, that's why awesome. he's John Rulin. I mean, people show up. We were even saying today, James was like, man, you know, Andre lives in Atlanta. Mm. Just so you know. Wow, I did not know Andre that. lives in Atlanta. He's, he's like, I'll be at that dinner coming that's out. Awesome. So again, people are making their plans. They're showing up. You should show up too. We're going to be at the Capitol Grill in St. Louis. We have a... Absolutely. If you have never never been to one of these, like we just order everything. It's like it's why we call it over the top. We just get one of everything. We blow it out. We've got great wines, great yeah. drinks, great food, but even better networking connections. So many millions of dollars of business is able to be curated in these events. This is why we do them. Um, you need to be at this and if some, you can. And sometimes the millions of dollars comes from you because of the inspiration that oh, people give you, which and, I think is important. And people are worried. Um, ben Newman is still coming. We just ran we ran out of space yeah. on the thing. And Ben Newman was looking the other way, so it Ben Newman wasn't sense. looking the right way. Like didn't fit. Ben Newman, you know, if you don't know who Ben Newman is, you need it's to amazing. Google Ben Newman. Very but inspiring. Ben Newman is, is um, I saw a picture of Ben in social media, and he had his hands. He had all of these uh, championship rings yeah. from the teams that he's worked with, um, you know, Alabama Crimson Tide. I don't know how many of those were from Bama National Championships. Um, now, because of his work with Alabama, all of these um, players that have gone on into the pros, Najee Harris, a bunch of people. I mean, just amazing. And he's not just in football. You know, he works in K-State. He works with Michigan State. He works with all of these amazing teams. He is truly a high-performance coach, not just in the sports world. He works with entrepreneurs. Mm -hmm. If you want someone that will, like, get you tuned up, fired up, inspired, and ready to, you know, bat blast through those doors to, you know, kick it down and, you know, claim what's yours, Ben Newman is your guy. And just yeah. because he's not on the thing, I had questions today. We just ran out of room, and yeah. he was looking the wrong way. It just didn't fit. It didn't work. He was, like, trying to stare straight ahead, and he was, he had, was too intense, so yeah. we took him off. But he'll be there. Um, you don't want to miss. You don't want to miss Ben Newman at the VIP. But dinner. speaking of social media, let's talk about social media. Let's talk about content. Yeah, I, I want to bring in tonight's guest, Kyle Draper. Um, we've been doing some work with Kyle. Um, 
James. Uh, everybody knows James. Oh, I Speaking forgot to James. say. Speaking of James. Tonight's producer. Everybody say hello to James, the producer. What's happening, everybody? You need a you need a producer name. I do. Yeah. I need like a little tag too. A little mm. tag. Like why do DJs have names? Like they have you know DJ I Diesel. Think producers DJ. might have names. We yeah, you got know. the you got like the producer tag, you know, yeah. that plays before the song, before the beat drops. Usually, oh yeah, you like get producer, familiar, like Clinton, fam- DJ Khaled, <laughs> we the best, we the best, yeah, <laughs> another go. one, like all that. <laughs> <laughs> I need mean, somebody help me out. Somebody help me. Yeah, out, somebody man. give James his give producer tag. I love it. I love Sometimes it. Sometimes it's little kids too, you know. Yeah, we got we just slip those in. That way people will know when it's you and they can distinguish between you and all the rest of the the ruffians that show up to produce the show. They'll know when the man's in the house. Like, there'll be a little tagline on there. Oh, I, love I love it. it. That's awesome. I love it. Everybody welcome James in. Throw James some love. Hey guys, James is working on some uh, amazing content too for you guys. Speaking yep. of content, super excited. Um, he's working really hard. He's putting out some stuff that'll be coming out for all of our BDC and BYS members. Yeah, you got to be a BDC or BYS it member. At Marketing matters. Going to release it. Marketing matters. Yeah, super super pumped up about this. Um, everybody wants more of James's knowledge, um, and so he's sharing that um, with people and giving away. Um, well, it's not giving it away. Where no, it has I mean, a. Fee of course, because it's worth a but lot of giving, money. He's giving away his knowledge, his knowledge yeah. his freely skills, sharing his... all of all that he's learned in his many yes. years. How many years you've been doing this, James? If I can get myself back on the screen, <laughs> <laughs> don't let this oh, be man. a testament uh, of his four, skill. Four years with you guys, almost four years in October. I would love it too if James, you could figure out the sound effects so that your microphone sounds tinny, like on Howard Stern when <laughs> when, when when they talk from the back. It oh. sounds like they're in like a on an intercom box. Yeah. They're not really, but it just sounds that way. Jeez. If you can make yours sound like that, that would be awesome. I can oh, I, I can work it. on that. Let's get Kyle Draper in. Can you can you make Kyle show? Every, oh show yeah, up? Welcome, Kyle. he's he's ready. What's up, hey. Kyle? Hi, Kyle. Look at that back. Y'all, yeah, y'all, I mean, he's a pro. Y'all are so much fun. I'm just sitting in the green room, like with no desire to even need to come on, because I'm just I'm having a blast just watching you guys. Although I'm feeling a little one upped by your background there with the like LED. I'm pretty lights sure the lights are yeah, the lights are changing and, colors. Like, What's going I kinda, on? James is gonna get like in trouble after this. Look like, at our lame. Like, look at our why lame don't we background. have lights come on. that change colors? <laughs> we have a black slat I, I wall. Think, <laughs> I think y'all's background is pretty pretty darn legit so uh, i think you. y'all are doing fine there <laughs> Kyle, well, welcome we're excited welcome to, have to you the here. sean and Lacey show tell everybody um you know this is, is not a none of your business podcast but um uh, you know we we don't bring on slouches on anything we do tell us a little bit about your creation story um how do you how do you get yourself into a position where you're um you know being asked to help people with um, not just content, but pretty much all things digital. Um, how, how do you evolve into Kyle Draper? Not, not on purpose, Sean. <laughs> I, I, I was a former pastor. I was a pastor for 10 years and really just felt a calling to kind of be a businessman with the heart of a pastor, moved into the business world, started a roofing company, learned how to sell, how to do marketing, how to do social media. I was doing Facebook lives from the rooftops of houses when Facebook live first came out. And then I started a company building websites for real estate agents. And that really pivoted me. I noticed this need for at the time realtors, but now just entrepreneurs that they don't have a clue how to use social media correctly, how to stay in front of their people, how to be relevant. And so years ago, I started teaching classes. One thing led to another. I started getting asked to, to, to go further away from where I live to speak in front of groups of people. And guys, the, the, the rest is just history. I, I now get to travel across the country and speak. I have several different companies that, that help in the, the marketing realm. And uh, it's it's a lot of fun, and so now I, I kind of call myself a, a video marketing therapist because Ooh. I feel like what I mostly do 
is help people get in front of the camera, talk people off the ledge of throwing their social media in the trash. And I got to do a lot of head work with people because as y'all know, getting in front of the camera exposes a lot of insecurities that we've hid, hidden from people our whole lives. Oh. And so that's, that's what I, that's what I get to do. You right. guys, well, hold on. If if you feel like Kyle may be speaking to you, this is your opportunity to ask him a question. Yeah, throw your questions like free up. therapy, y'all. Like let, so, let him know. Let him right. know if if he's talking to you. Also, yeah. let me let me get my uh, new show up there since he's he's a, a recovering pastor. I gotta get <laughs> I gotta get my my pastor Brian Hall curtain up. Hey everybody, uh, coming up in September every Tuesday at 10 a.m. I'm getting Pastor Brian Hall on a YouTube live with me. We're going to go dive deep on some spiritual concepts, spirituality and the entrepreneur. Listen, man, for a lot of you that wow. you want, you have a spiritual side, maybe, you know, you need, you need your Sunday church and just, you know, life happens and you can't make it. I'm not saying this is church service, mm -mm. but we're going to, we're going to feed your spiritual soul. And I'm going to, I'm going to challenge Brian. I'm going to, I'm going to push him a little bit. I can't wait for this. Put this in your calendars every Tuesday, starting the first week of September 10 a.m. Eastern, me and Brian Hall, we're going to be breaking it down on YouTube Live. All right, Kyle. I'm in. If you ever need yes. a guest, you need a guest host for that. Heck yeah. I am. Oh, I am in. oh that's a deal. That's a deal. You can be, yes, anytime that, so travel, life happens. Anytime that I'm not able to sit in this chair, Kyle, will you be the backup on that? Yes, sir. Absolutely. That would be great. You and Brian, that, that would be unbelievable. Brian already said, let's do Heck it. Yeah. It's good to, Heck good to yeah. go. Come on. All right, you All right so let's talk about... Well, like, he said earlier, some people just don't know how to do it right. Yeah, Social well, media. yeah. I mean, I think that's the biggest thing, right? So number one, we, we, we've got a lot of people on here that not only have trouble getting in front of the camera, but they're doing it alone. And so yeah. it creates like two issues of, man, I've got to get out there, create content and be vulnerable but I also need to figure out how to do all of this by myself. So how do we overcome those two big hurdles and, and, and how do you help people, you know, get themselves out there? Yeah, Lacey, being, being efficient is obviously a huge deal with this. And what, I, what I've found, there's, there's no right way necessarily to do content, right? As long as you're doing something, it's better than, than using excuses to do nothing. But what I've found works really well is start with long form content, right? A lot of, a lot of entrepreneurs, they jump straight into short form content. So they're doing TikToks, they're doing reels. And first of all, those are hard edits. So if you're not good at this, you're instantly jumping into the deep end and hoping you don't drown in the, the 90 days it's going to take you to, to stop sucking at this. And so I'm a big fan of get in front of the camera from an educational position, because that's what all of us do in our businesses. We educate people, right? That's how we get them to say yes. That's how we get them to sign on the bottom line. So if I can get people to just get in front of a camera, come up with questions that you get asked most frequently about your industry, about your processes, your procedures, and, and then Brandon Brown, my man, what's up, bro? And then just educate and do five minute videos, eight minute videos, those videos now are great for YouTube because a lot of short form creators, they're doing reels, they're doing Facebook and Instagram, TikTok, but they're not doing YouTube. And it's still the second largest search engine in the world. And so if you'll create long form content, editing for YouTube is easier, in my opinion, than editing for reels. And then once you have that piece, guys, what's so easy is in a five minute video, there's gonna be three to five spots where you said something really awesome. And this clip was 15 seconds of awesome, boom, we're gonna pluck that out. This clip was 30 seconds of awesome, boom, we're gonna pluck that out. And now you're giving yourself reels from the long form content. And so what I truly believe is people can be basically in front of the camera daily on social media for about an hour of their time a month. And to me, that's the most efficient way to start doing this stuff. That's such solid advice. Like I hope everybody heard that because that's what, what people struggle with absolutely the most is when you're under pressure to try to generate 
gold bars or gold bombs or whatever. They, what do they call them? Gold bombs? <laughs> what is a gold bomb? I want a gold bomb. <laughs> a glitter bomb? A glitter bomb. When you're under pressure to create a glitter Drop bomb. a glitter bomb. And, <laughs> <laughs> and like, you know, 30 seconds and you have to deliver in that short right. of a time span. Oftentimes people have difficulty getting their point across and then they have to record 20 different times because they keep yeah. tripping over their words like gold bomb. <laughs> well, people, and people always say, <laughs> I don't know what feel, to say. I don't know what like, to say. They feel like I don't know what to say. Yeah. But if you just start talking and it becomes natural and it's like a natural conversation, then those are the moments where you're authentically delivering really good stuff and it can be captured and extracted. So I love that. Well, the two, bombs. <laughs> two questions. As we yeah. as we figure out what you know, glitter bomb or gold bomb, whatever we're gonna try to drop on somebody. As we work through this, the the two questions that solve our content problem are, what do I get asked the most about blank? Right, fill your industry in the blank. Mm -hmm. And then the second question is, what am I surprised that people don't already know? Because we've all been in business conversation, and we all we all speak in jargon inside of our own industry. And so in chiropractic, there's things that you're going to say that the lay person is going to go, whoa, 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 whoa. What was that? You, you said that really fast. Can you say that again? Right. And so we need to begin to train ourselves to go, every time someone asks me what that means, that needs to become a future video that I create. And so now we're stacking these up and content gets really easy when we focus on educating through value as opposed to chasing virality. And we just put a bunch of crap out there that nobody ultimately is going to care about. Talk to us a little bit Gold about, bomb. talk to us a little bit about <laughs> personal brand in the making of this content. One of the things that I love about, I mean, and we're very open and transparent that one of the things I love about doing this, um, Oh, look, Georgia Stone, this, one of the things I love about doing this is that this is <laughs> like conversational, right? Like we're having yeah. a, a conversation. Um, when it comes to personal brand, though, and I am being asked to make content, one of the things, you know, and James gets on us all the time because I think that we are a lot better at it, but when James would say, hey, can you make a piece where you talk about um, how surprised you are that people only try to sell and don't understand that marketing doesn't get clients, that marketing, what it does is it creates awareness. And I say, okay. Hey everybody, Sean Dill. And like you do this like stage sales, vo sales voice, yeah. voice yeah. and you're like, what am I, what, what am voice? I doing? Like, how did yeah. I, what, what is this? Um, help us out. Like how, how can I, one, transmit my true authentic self if yeah. that even exists? Number two though, um, personal brand. Like, should I use my, my game show voice every time I'm talking on social media? Like, how do I unwrap that? Unwrap that for us. Yeah. So there, gosh, like there's so much going on in, in everything that you just said, right? Like <laughs> we, we kind of like, we overthink what brand is and brand to me ultimately is just, is there anything that I do or that I am that is memorable to people? And so brand can be as simple as I use the exact same type of captions on every reel that I do. Like that can be, that can be brand. People see this, this certain style of blocky letter and they, and all of a sudden they think of you, your red glasses, my glasses, like they could be brand. Lacey could wear white. Every time y'all do this show that, that ultimately becomes brand. And, and so we, we kind of overcomplicate it, but I think brand can also be the way we make people feel. Mm -hmm. So if you jumped on a lot of your videos, Sean, and you were like, Hey, it's Sean Dill. Welcome to <laughs> like part of your brand can literally be like, we love you because of your willingness to make fun of yourself, right? You're, you're a super successful entrepreneur, yet you don't have this ego that says, well, I can't be silly and funny. Like that's going to diminish who people think I am when it's the opposite that humanizes you to people. So that as you guys continue to soar and do bigger things, people are like, that's, that's Sean and Lacey. They've always been that way. Like, that's why we love them. And, and so I, I don't think we need to really think too much about how do I create my brand? I think our brands begin to unravel and, and show themselves as we get more comfortable in front of the camera. 
and and that begins to to showcase to us like okay this is really like what i think about kyle and and it just evolves you know my new book came out in april it's purple i've started adopting like purple wasn't even a, a favorite color of mine until my team picked that color for the cover and now i find myself adopting more purple because i think in two years i could be the purple guy because purple isn't like a super used color in a lot of people's brand. Is Jody but I'm not on like here? painting my house purple tomorrow. I'm just kind of letting it, you know, slowly flow. I what, love it. Did you Jody Green, his... I think Jody Green's on here and her brand Here's, is purple. Her brand's too. purple. And then, but, but Kyle made the, the wall turn purple While when he, he said that. Did you see that? I know. Incredible. It was like purple and bang. Like the, that, that, that there was it is. That's there impressive. it is again. I know. That's what, impressive. Kyle, purpose. what's the, the title of the book so that people can find it? It is called Rethink Everything You Know About Social Media. Perfect. Oh, that, that's and awesome. It's, it's right there. Yep, I see it. It's perfect. Yep. Perfectly placed. And it's, it's 99 pages. You can read it in a day. There's no fluff because there's no ego in it. It is truly designed for every word on the page to create value in your life. And I'm, I'm really proud of the way that it Love turned it. out. And you should be. I love that title too, because uh, there's been a lot of texts, books written about social media yeah. that have been around for a long time. Yeah. And yeah. You know, where's the update? And I love this. Rethink everything you think you know. Right, right. Rethink it. Start. Let's start fresh. Hit the reset button. I love that. Uh, you will love this though, Kyle. Purple rain. My um, yeah, my car is purple. It sell it is? to Kyle. And in the license plate <laughs> says purple rain. Yeah. I'm well, that's what no it way. I know. Purple yep. rain. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah. Purple rain car. Um, okay. So I have a question. Go. So I, one of the other things that I think a lot of people struggle with is consistency. Like yeah. I have calls with coaching clients and they're like, look, I get really good at creating content, you know, and I'm disciplined about it and I start putting content out there. And then inevitably, all of a sudden I get busier. Funny how that works, right? But then I start servicing the people and I fall off the content until I have a lull in the business again. So do you have any strategies or tips to help people maintain their consistency? Because we know how important that is yeah. to, or in order to kind of control the ebbs and flows of business a little bit better. Yeah, it's a great question. It's a super legit concern. What, what, I've, what I've learned is even when we think we're being consistent with video, we're doing one a week right? Maybe two a week. And we're calling that consistency. But if we apply that to other areas of our lives, if I see my wife twice a week, <laughs> it, at some point, things are going to start falling apart. And we're going to be like, what happened? What? I mean, oh my gosh, how did we get here? If, if I go to the gym twice a week, that's why I look like I do. And y'all look like you do because I go twice a week and I'm like, right. I'm killing it. That's not <laughs> enough, bro. Like that's, that's not habit, right? And so what, what I've found with video, like right now I'm in what we're calling the August video challenge. I've got, I don't know, almost 700 people in a Facebook group doing a challenge and it's 31 videos in 31 days, because I truly believe if you can do a video every day for 31 days, you will overcome every obstacle that comes your way. You will stop overthinking the simplicity of this. And like I could do a video today in 10 seconds by just ha singing happy birthday and texting it to somebody. Yep. Like I did a video today. My brain went through the motions. I felt the emotions. And, and so that's really, Lacey, what I think it is, is even when we say we were consistent, we were a barely consistent right. and it's just not enough. And so if you'll go 30 days in a row, now you could pull back to several times a week. And, and because it, it got easier. And to me, that's really the problem. The, the other thing is, I, I think for a lot of us, we have to truly be, believe that it works. Because for so many of us, we, we know we need to do it, right? This isn't the first time like on this episode that people are like, oh, wow, video, I've never thought about that. <laughs> yeah, I'm, gonna go, I'm gonna go put that into ChatGPT and see you know, what, what it tells me about what video is. So it's not like we're, we're, we're breaking ground with this conversation, but a lot of people on this call, they genuinely don't think this works, right? They might think it works for you, but deep down inside, they don't think it works for them. And so they're going to keep saying, 
well, I just don't have time, you know, like, but we make time for what we value. So it's not that you don't have time, it's that you don't value it enough. And so I think we need to kind of rethink our value system and decide if we really believe that this can be powerful, we have to create space for it and not just hope to get it done. That's, I, I, and that's such a powerful concept because I just can't stop thinking about the dang gold bombs every time you do that, James. <laughs> stop <laughs> distracting me. <laughs> um, but I think what's really interesting when you're, when, when I was listening to you talk about that is, you know, we always say that people get tired, systems don't. And all systems are, are like intentional, like structured habits of execution. And yeah. with video, you're absolutely right. Nobody creates a habit of execution of videos. Yeah. One time a week does not form a habit, right? And so it doesn't create a system. So therefore, when people get tired or something else, like I have all these clients to take care of, starts to seep in because there was no system or habit formed around it. It's easy to forget about or to slough off or not do or not have in your schedule. So I think that that's so really true. important. It, you need to figure out how to do it every day. I want to talk a little bit about advanced stuff. Yeah. Not too oh. advanced. Cause, well, not too advanced because you may say, listen, let's, let, let, let's not put any emphasis there. But you were talking about like the editing, the fancy captions. Mm. How important is that, especially when we were talking about somebody getting started? What I loved is that you said, listen, you could just do a video of you On singing form. happy birthday and texting oh. it. So. Right, right. You're saying we could leverage video in text, we could leverage it in email, but then that is another hang up. It's not real, but that's why I want you to speak to it. Like, I don't want to do video and put it out there because look, I've seen these videos and they're super edited and they've got the captions and I don't know how to do that. So I'm just not going to do any video. So I mean, y'all, y'all know the, the answer here. I'm trying to figure out where I'm not used to doing video this late at night and the sun is, is finding me everywhere I go in my office. <laughs> um, there's, there's different levels to this. And, and then there's also different audiences that require different things. When I'm sending one-to-one -one videos, I do nothing. I record it. I send it. I don't add captions. I'm not trimming the beginning and the end. Like I want it to feel so raw. Like, because if I, like if I sing happy birthday and then I put gifts on it, and stickers. Now people can go, Oh, I think Sean and Lacey send that the same video to everybody. Mm. So if my video is just me, like guys, I'll record birthday videos with bedhead. Like I haven't even gotten ready for the day yet. And I'm like, bro, today's your birthday, man. Happy birthday. Because I want you to know at 7am while I'm taking my kids to school, like you're on my heart and I want you to know I care about you. And none of those people that receive it are like, you know, if you would have put captions on it, I probably would have received this a little bit more, but thank you, I guess. Yeah. Right? Like that's not, that's not what anybody says. And so in that one-to-one -one environment, keep it super raw, very simple. The reason though, as we do more public facing content, especially in the short form, this is different because when you go to YouTube, like I'm cool to sit here for an hour and watch something. Mm -hmm. So we don't need the bells and whistles. Like the sound effects are fun, but we don't need flying things coming through here <laughs> because that's not the way our attention spans work on YouTube. Like we're watching a TV show right now. We're engaged, but on, on, on social media, when we're talking about reels, TikToks, YouTube shorts, people's attention spans are four seconds. And so this is why if I do a great 45 second video and it's just me, the video could be awesome, but without those bells and whistles are, we just don't stay engaged. And so for people on here, if you've ever noticed, like, why is there a random sound effect in that person's video? Because it shocks your brain and it resets your attention. That's the only reason we do it. We don't do it because we think it's cool. It's super stupid. Yeah. Like, we're like, it's so dumb. I remember when my team made the first one and I'm like, why are we doing this? Why did I just hear Superman fly through my shot when new words showed up? But it's just, it's creating those breaks mm -hmm. to reset people's attention. It's why 
you'll watch videos where like one shot is here and then the next shot is here. Then the next shot is here. And it's literally just to hold people's attention. And, and so it's kind of a sucky part of the game. In my opinion, I don't love it. It's crazy that I own a company that does it, right. but it's just because it's the nature of the beast that we're in and it's only going to get worse. Our attention spans aren't getting better. And so we need those breaks. We also, the last thing I'll say is there's data that says that almost 80% of videos are watched with the sound off. Mm -hmm. And so if I don't very simply j just put captions on a video, that data says that 80% of people, the moment they don't see words are gone mm. and it kills our audience. And so those are why, you know, we need those things. I want to, first of all, the challenge it's going on in the month of August. When are you doing it again? You know, I didn't even, I didn't even know I was doing this one until July 29th. So okay. I'm, okay. I'm kind of a last minute guy. Y'all are nice. like announcing things and I'm like, huh, I should consider like being organized like that one day. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I don't know, but Got, but y'all jump in. There's still 15 days to go. True. And that's still an, an awesome amount of time to do video every day. Yeah. Okay. So how would, how do, how do people get in? It's, it, it's just go look up August video challenge on Facebook and you'll see it pop up. I need and some, I need somebody really smart to drop that in the chat right now. August video challenge. Somebody Maybe on our team. Kyle Draper add that if you can, but mm -hmm. nobody else doing an August video challenge. Kyle Draper, August video challenge. Drop me a link in the chat so everybody can get in on it. I just want to, I think everybody should just jump in on yeah, it. You're why already, not? we're halfway jump through. In. No more excuses. It's, it's a 15 day challenge from this yeah. point forward. Get in but, there. You get tons of support and help. But just well. continue on deal. after that. Huh? I, so the way I do it is I go live every morning at 8 a.m. Central Standard Time. I give the prompt for the day and then I do a little bit of coaching and inspiring. Nice. And so every video from August 1st to now is still in there. So technically you could not do my prompts and go back and start at August 1st. I'm not closing the group down and you could watch my videos every morning and, and do your own video challenge for 31 days. Yep. Home, I love it. Home run. Tell us a little bit about more, um, because I know that we've talked about some of your other services beyond the challenge. Yeah. So number one, everybody get in the challenge. Um, maybe some people are a little more seasoned and they're like, all right, I mean, I'm already doing a video a day or maybe more. Um, what are some of the other services that you provide humanity in the world so that people like us can get our message out to more yes. people? Yes. Thank you for asking that question. The, what well, the biggest thing we do, we call it content compounding and it's truly what it is. We con we compound your content. So our clients, they send us four videos a month that are roughly three to 10 minutes in length, typically. And then my team, we, we edit the video, put it on YouTube for you. So that's intro, outro, lower third captions, thumbnail. So it looks super cool to the, to the eye. And, and then from those four videos, we rip those up into micro content. So you're getting like 16 to 20 reels per month from those four videos. You're getting quote graphics, you're getting audiograms. And, and so essentially you're getting about 26 pieces of content a month from four videos that took you less than an hour to do. And it, it's a pretty unbelievable service. Yeah. And is there prompts on that? Like prompts on the content or, or is this, do we just have to make our own content? So yes and no. I, so I coach every week live. So every week, our clients have the ability to jump in zoom with me and talk through strategy, talk through self limiting beliefs that, that they're struggling with. But then during our onboarding, we, we give my entire coaching program that I used to do that I no longer promote anymore. And so I give you everything you need. We talk through pillar content so that you come in completely unsure, but then you leave going, here's my pillars. This is what I'm going to start talking about. Yep. And, and then I hold your hand as you kind of develop it from there, because what I don't want Sean is I don't want to create a bunch of robots that just do what I say. Mm -hmm. And you never come into your own as your own creator. 
And so it, it, I try to keep that balance between like giving you just enough to continue to fish on your own without just straight up frying that fish and delivering it to you. And how do people find out about that? What if somebody wants to jump in on that? Where do they go? So just so we're clear, I have just paid a lot of money to have our website redone and, and all of this, it is in the works. So you can still go to contentcompounding.com and the website is horrible because <laughs> I That's not nice. built it. I built it and I am not a website builder. Oh my God, now and I so, have to look. Yeah, it's so, it's so bad. It's so bad, but you know, I, but that's, that's where you can currently go. You can also just DM me on social media. You'll probably be more impressed with my social media than you will with the website. So <laughs> that might be better to just go find me on Instagram or Facebook or wherever and just shoot me a DM and you're like, I went to the ugly website, not a fan. So here I am and we can have a conversation. Yeah. I mean, you didn't say, uh, this is the website challenge, August challenge. So, I mean, at least, you know, nobody's going to judge now, you it's, on this. It's website. probably better that you didn't look it up while we were live, but you know, it is what it is. <laughs> it's okay. We have it up. It's fine. So I, I, my, my last question for you, Kyle, I want to yeah. know, um, how has, or how did being a pastor, I mean, you have a, an ability, right, to, to communicate. Uh, and so I want to give you the opportunity, using your ability to communicate, though, because, you know, on, on our podcast, we talk about this a lot. Here's how the human brain works, because, like, people are watching this. This happens to Lacey and I all the time. Oh, well, that's because that, that's you. Oh, that's because you have James. And a lot of people, because you can kind of detect it in you, are thinking... Well, that's because you're a pastor. You're just naturally gifted. You come from a place where you've stood in front of people and you've shared Easily and you've talk taught. And share a message. It comes so natural to you, but not to me. One, lessons learned from being a pastor in in today's world and in creating content. And two, what do you say to those people who are like, well, you 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 just are gifted and you have an unfair advantage over me? So, I I preached my first sermon as a paid pastor. Right. I preached several times as an intern, but my first sermon ever as a paid pastor, I faked a sickness at the end of it, went and hid in a room on the other side of our church. And I text my boss and was like, I'm throwing up, like, just go ahead and leave. I'll clean up everything because I was so embarrassed. I was so embarrassed. And, and I remember sitting on the floor in, in our sixth grade room, guys literally crying, just angry, like, God, you're the worst. And, and this is the relationship we have, right? He tells us to be honest with him. And, and, and I, I remember going, God, you're the worst. Like, why would you call me to do something that I suck at? Why would you do this? And now I look forward 21 years from that moment and my favorite thing in the world to do is what I basically cursed God with 21 years ago. And, and so I tell that story to, to just encourage people. Like if, if you're comparing where I am today with where you are today, we're not talking about apples to apples. I've spent 20 years speaking in front of people, learning how to communicate understanding how to change the inflection in my voice. And the only reason I'm good at it is because I used to suck at it. Mm -hmm. It's the only reason. And, and so guys, you have to keep going, but also to the second thing you said, Sean, like guys, understand this, your people don't expect you to be me. They don't expect you to be Sean and Lacey. They know you. And this is why I wrote this book because we have been taught, oh, if you're going to show up on social, you better be perfect. And then you know that you're not. So then you don't show up there or you do show up, but as a different weird version of yourself <laughs> and your people, your people go, that's not Sean. That's not, that's not Lacey. Like, like I've looked and hopefully I, I, we can say, we can say this, but like Lacey, I've looked at like your Instagram before and I feel like I can tell the content that is you 
and the content that someone else forced you to do. Mm-hmm. And it's so obvious James. to me. I think, <laughs> right? I could James. be totally wrong. Yeah, no, for sure. And because I, this is what I do for a living. Mm-hmm. And, and we could probably go through, I'd be like, you didn't want to do that one. You did like that one. And you'll be like, yep, that's true. That's true. And so guys, go be yourself. We are desperate for authenticity. We're desperate for it. But the world tells us nobody wants that. People want you to be who they want you to be. Mm-hmm. And, and so go be yourself. And, and Sean, the, the last thing I'll say, what I, what I learned being a pastor is like, we are all so broken. And what I've found is that oftentimes the more successful someone gets, the more broken they become because they feel this, this, this irking inside of them that like, well, now I can't tell people about that because look at what's at stake. And so you get more closed off and less honest with people. And, and so like, just go be you when you start doing videos, tell people during the video, how nervous you are, because now you're taking that fear away. So in the video go, Oh my gosh, I'm so nervous. I don't want to mess up. And you know what that's going to do? Your friends are going to swarm you in the comments and go, you're amazing. You're awesome. You're the best. Your hair looks great. But if you would have kept it inside, nobody would have said anything. Mm -hmm. And so I could shoot, I could be on that Tuesday podcast with you and, and talk about this for an hour, but that's all I'll say for now. Well, and I think that's really important. And I appreciate you even pointing that out about like my social media, because I freely and openly talk about how much I dislike being behind a camera. It is not my favorite thing to do. I would rather be behind a computer building out automations and websites and workflows than talking in front of a camera. I should have had you build my website. I, I, you know what? I already looked at it and I could give you some feedback. But no, I'm just kidding. I've already paid lots of money for feedback. So I'll let you look at the new one. Um, but honestly, I think that that's the, the hardest thing is number one, showing up, doing something that you find difficult um, or vulnerable and then having somebody tell you how to do it. That's not authentically you. It just right. makes it that much harder. So if you're out there and you're like, man, this is so difficult for me. I don't love this. It is hard for me to get behind a camera. Then give yourself permission to show up authentically you because it will be that much easier. I think that's the point, right? So like good. forced content is difficult, especially if you already don't like it. So give yourself grace, right? Yes, Be please. you. It will be so much easier. I promise. Yeah. So good. I told you, you were on fire. Glitter bomb, did y'all hear that? Gold bombs, gold bombs. <laughs> All right, yeah. everybody, make sure you connect with Kyle Draper. Get a copy of the book. Make sure that you jump in on the challenge. Like, look, the way that it's Please. running, you could just jump in right yep. now. Get in on that. Did somebody share the link for me? Um, they all shared the name, but nobody, I don't think, shared the I link. I know the name. <laughs> I'll, go, I'll go put the link. I'll go put the Perfect. link in there. Kyle's going to put the link. Awesome. Hey, guys, Thank don't you, don't Kyle. clown around because, like, like I love that. Like, we're not telling you something, you know, that, that's a revelation that you should do video. But we're also giving you prompts. We're giving you... Um, the encouragement and support. And so Absolutely. many people, Kyle, were, were saying thank you for the support. Um, and, and listen, let Kyle support you for the next 15 and days and you. beyond. Yeah, I um, love it. Come go on. check out the the, the, the website um, and don't, jump don't, in. Don't check out the website. <laughs> stop saying stop, stop saying that. Get in on this. Go I gotta blindly tell you, put your info in on the website. Tell you, I, I know people. I know people that have yep. worked with Kyle. Yep. And we have worked with it Kyle. has it has yes. done amazing things to amplify their content, to amplify their voice and get out, get yeah. them out, reaching more people. And you know, I, I hope that everybody caught this too, right? It doesn't take a lot of time, right? So he was talking about three or four videos that you have to make on a monthly basis. And then, you know, literally can get you covered 26 videos. That's, you know, it's dang near every day yeah. by just putting some effort into, you know, feeding this machine and letting his team do their magic and getting you all of this content created. I mean, I highly encourage you to check that out. Yeah. Kyle, anything that we forgot to mention? No. 
No, you y'all were, are great. You, y'all you're, are the you're, you're great. You're, you're great. You're a ton of fun. I th- I think that Thank everybody you. had a super great time tonight. I know. People are very excited about the content. Very, it, said, it helped them a lot. So yes. that's what we're here for. Let's give away some money. Yeah. Thanks, Thanks for they, having me, guys. Kyle, oh, dude, thank you, you so much. It. We you appreciate it. you. All right. I All want right. to shout out tonight's sponsor. Yep. Cram. cram. Nutrition. I was just thinking, I got my cram boxes. They're too far away from We've me. We've been eating but... a lot of cram lately. Yeah, because the shipment came in back in stock. Use the discount code BDC20. Um, go to cramnutrition.com. Hey, man, if you guys, when you get your cram nutrition, cram. you get your cram in, comes in a box, dry ice. Don't freak out if it's not frozen. Probably be frozen. And but don't put the dry ice down the sink. No, don't do that. I thought Sean? that'd be funny. That, that's it was not, not good. Not funny. Um, so you take, <laughs> get your cram. Make sure that you share. Tag me and Cram Nutrition. Throw that bad boy up on a video yes. on social media. Let us know that you're enjoying cram. Show the world that you are eating a healthy, nutritious, organic PB and J. Yep. Uh, so get your cram, cramnutrition.com, discount code BDC20, and share your cram. Michael Chandler's kicking my butt on people, but I know my people buy cram. Yeah, they do. His people post cram. Yeah. And he's got a lot of people. He's Michael Chandler. We got a lot of people. I got 14 people watch this thing. Uh, we're unless at 80. It, unless it gets up to like a million dollars. Yeah. Michael Chandler just takes his shirt off and he's got 1.5 oh million people looking at it. Maybe you should try and take your shirt off. See what, <laughs> what was Kyle saying that like that's the difference? Like, what are you talking about? All right. So uh, do I to... got do I have a couple more announcements to make before we wrap this bad boy up? Oh, we're yeah. gonna draw four names, four hundred dollars. Second show launching first week of September, Wednesdays at two p.m. I've got the one and only Major Ed Polito jumping on on a weekly basis with me to talk all things leadership. Listen, if there's one thing I know that we need right now, it's a major dose of of leadership. You know, Major Ed lost his leg in combat, Purple Heart. Um, rec- recognition, yeah. yeah. Uh, partners with John Daly in the Heart of the Lion Foundation. Um, listen, Wednesdays, 2 p.m. Eastern. Put this in your calendar. Me and Major Ed just breaking it down on all things leadership. And I got to tell you, Ma- Major Ed doesn't hold back. So we're going to be talking about, you know, what's going on in, in the world, what's going on in government. Um, you know, how, how happy is Major Ed about the way that we've handled things in Maui, right? Like, I'd be interested to hear, like, you talk about leadership, like, you know, when you're in battle, when you're when you're in in the armed forces, you, know, you can't be like you know no commenting your way around this thing. And that's one thing that we do know for absolute certain. Major Ed loves, absolutely loves the United States of America. I can't wait to share some time with Major Ed, talking about his views on leadership. And not it's not it's not a conspiracy theory show. It's about you and how you can take these lessons and become a better leader in your business. Absolutely. You don't want to miss that. All right. Oh, oh marketing okay. matters. Don't forget. Hey, I just got. Hey, you guys got to be. You guys got to be on the lookout because I just got word today we will be hosting. I don't know if I'm going to call it the Shank Dilly Cup. November. November. Give me a no. Good, good name. No. On on Halloween. Oh, we 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 will be at the Turnberry, uh, go, that golf course right there. I'm going to be taking. And I've got a great format. I figured out the format. It's going to be awesome. Mm-hmm. Um, yes. And then on November 1st, VIP Day. And then on November 2nd and 3rd, the big show, Marketing Matters in Miami. Get registered. Go to www.blackdiamondclub.com. Click on that events tab. Get to Marketing Matters. Reserve your seat. It's going to be off the chains, exciting and amazing. People are coming in from all over the place for this thing. We're going to be breaking down all of the things that we've seen that are working um, the things that we think you should be doing in 2024, the things you should be getting rid of, and we're going to help you to design. Check this out. Novelty. I learned about this today. A one-year marketing calendar. Ooh, Boom. Ooh. Drop the mic. I was hearing, and, some, I was hearing other gonna, coaches and, talking and about one-year marketing the, calendars. And we're going to drop the James Special. And the James Special. Yep, mm-hmm. The James Special program will be got, launching at Marketing Matters. And we got one more announcement, and then we're going to draw four names for $400. Oh, don't forget about the Stuck to Unstoppable Challenge. Check yeah. that out. Hey, you guys check that website out. Speaking of websites, mm. I, like, I like that one. Go to www.stucktounstoppablechallenge, but it doesn't say challenge. I'm pretty sure it says challenge. 
So st stuck to unstoppable challenge. Put a C in there. Stuck to unstoppable challenge. Get yourself registered so that we can help you to move from being stuck to unstoppable. Challenge. And hey, man, if you want to, if you want to swipe and deploy, get on that website. Check yeah. out that funnel. Team built something pretty amazing there. Um, we've got amazing brand new content dropping. We're this very that is about on it. Monday. Monday, you're gonna want to be in there on Monday. I think. Oh, there Here we, we go. go. We're back. So, We're James, here. what's happening? Producer James, four names. Four names tonight. Clock, music, names, winner. Boom. Right. Let's go. Who's winning the money? Who's winning the money? Four hundred dollars on the line. Make sure they're all real names because and the remember, other James, if James you're Taylor, gets upset. Tuning in and you're not in Black Diamond Club or Book Yourself Solid Network, you know, just check us out. And BlackDiamondClub.com, BookYourselfSolid.com. You could be a part of the fun. We give away money. You could win money week, we every give away single money. week. But more importantly, as James Taylor will point out, every single week week inside of those groups we're dropping content Just value like this. we've got me you and matthew kimberly in the book yourself solid group tons of great people we've got all of our amazing bdc coaches in uh, book um, in black diamond club i mean this is the place where people are coming to get successful this is the place where people come to win money too james all right who's who winning got? um in honor of sean's mom tonight and hey, don't forget Arlene to send Dill. my mom a two dollar bill please <laughs> we have Selena Babcock. Boom, Selena Babcock. Selena. Previously known. Selena. She, I mean, Selena's been on how many trips with us? To, Lots. Yeah. The yes. Art of the Specific trips, and she's served as a chiropractor when we've gone to Mexico, and I think El, El Salvador. Hey, we're going back to Mexico Selena. coming up in January. And also for those of you that are tuning in from Mexico, which is none of you, but we're putting together an amazing mastermind that we'll be doing. David Meltzer, me, Lacey, and Javier Chicharrito coming to Mexico. It's going to be an amazing mastermind that we're putting together there. Oh, you know, we didn't share. I didn't even think you told me this. This is news to me. Well, did I tell you that we're going to SoFi in October for the halftime mastermind, experiential <laughs> mastermind? I got to let you guys know. You got to be on the wait list. The wait list currently has more people that can actually fit they in can, the suite. Yes. But you can still jump on the wait list. Go to experientialmastermind.com. Get on the wait list. We're putting together the final details. We're about to release registration for this. We're talking about a full day of masterminding in uh, Los Angeles. Mm -hmm. um, tons of special guests dropping in. You just saw our VIP dinner in St. Louis. Then we're going to have a Sunday night football, San Diego Chargers. Los Angeles Chargers, just kidding. Los <laughs> Angeles Chargers versus the Chicago Bears. Yep. Sunday night football on field suite. You, me, on Meltzer, field suite. whole like, what deal. What does that even mean? Isn't that amazing? Yeah, it's going to be awesome because we're so close and we know so many of, you know, you know you've seen us with Austin Eckler. We're going to be yelling, Raz and Austin. Calling them over, the whole deal. It's going to be amazing. You've got to be on the wait list, experientialmastermind.com. That's how you get in on that wait list. We're going to drop that very soon. We're just finalizing just a couple details. Probably by Monday, I'm going to guess, because uh, the team still there you has go, Nikki, Thursday right around and Monday. Friday. Yep. And then probably Monday, bang, it drops. And then when it's gone, it's gone. Yep, that's it. All right. Next name. Name number two we have. Gorge, <laughs> I think it's really George. Didn't Wait, George, get George just got week? called last week. Start it up. Start the clock. Start the clock. It, George. Really, George got called last week. If George got called last this week, this is really interesting. I don't even know how that happened. Did you? Sp you were spinning that I thing spinning pretty it. well. This is the second time this has happened. And I don't think the, this is the first time someone's gone back to back. I feel though. like somebody else got went back to back. Back to back. Yeah. I even feel like even James else didn't even back. know because he was laughing. George without <laughs> a G. Gorge. Yeah. With George without the gorge. G. Gorge. It's not the gorge. Like the gorge like where the gorge, Dave Matthews, Dave Matthews plays. band's yeah. playing at the George. <laughs> <laughs> All right. George, oh. Gorge, George didn't win last week. He didn't win this week. James Taylor thinks George. he's not even a real person. George, George the universe is trying, trying to give you money like really hard. I mean, yeah. yeah. It's trying hard. All right. Hector Martinez, too, I think. Is yeah. that the other one that's won a couple times? Yes. Yeah. Now, if you right. call Hector Martinez's you know name, like, this thing is rigged. <laughs> you, All you right. Who do we got next? It's not It's not Hector Martinez. Okay. But it is 
Christine Jade. Christine, Christine Jade. Jade. Let's Ooh, go. Aaron O'Connor wants to be the first back-to-back -back winner. We haven't Ooh, had we that yet. We won back-to-back in a that. similar oh, style. Yeah. Yes. Well, it would it would have it would have been so in this case, Aaron, it would be Paul. So if Paul wins, yes, that's actually how that we would won. be. That's how we won. Yes. We won in a similar type game. Except we didn't actually game. win cash. It was credit to our our club, so we actually had to spend it there, which was still genius on their part. It's a great fine. business model. It's fine. Yeah, just got us going back. It doesn't matter. Like, what oh, Aaron man. would be just as happy if we gave her credit. I mean, yeah. probably not as happy, but it would be the same yes. mathematically. Yes. Yes. True. True. But not not for us. All right, Christine we have to eat Jade. Our way through that credit. No, Christine. Christine Jade. Nope. No, no Christine George. Jade. And no. Who was the first? No. no uh, Selena. No Selena. Last name. Last chance at the last glory. Name All right. Four hundred dollars. Four hundred dollars. Who does it go for? I swear, is it Paul? Oh, Irene. Irene. Irene's usually on. She is on. Irene. 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 The Mish Dip. The Let's Mish go. Dip, the man. Mish Dip. <laughs> they were doing Producer the Mish Dip. Producer Irene Mish. Irene, Irene is on here often, so I, I would Irene's not be shocked. Be on, Irene, Irene, are you come here? On. Come on, Irene. See, everybody. Come on, okay. Irene. All right. Everybody knows this name. Can we all agree that Irene is real? real. The Mish Irene Dip. Real. Irene Mish. Irene. Oh, oh man. She might be doing the Mish Dip. dip. Oh, oh, dang. I thought we had a lock, stock, and load them. Winner. Yep. Wow. Never heard Ooh. of her. Okay. Ooh, Ooh Mike Mert even came on right now to confirm <laughs> she's real because. Thank you, Mike. Thank you, Mike. Thank I you, did. Mike. I know. All right. Well, freaking Mike. mishes are lucky Mike, fishes. You should come, <laughs> Mike. Mike should come oh, to Bourbon it. Nights. Mike Merck, you should come to Bourbon Nights. That That's would be a ton of fun. And yeah. then I'm flying from Bourbon Nights to Naples. You are. So, Mike, you could get on Naples the same tonight. flight with me. We'll go back to Naples and we'll eat at Sushi One, That's my right. favorite restaurant Your in Naples. favorite restaurant. And since you're not coming right away to Naples, I will probably eat at I'm Sushi like One. two days later. Well, I'll eat at Sushi One two nights in a row. Get my sashimi salad ready, well, you guys, that was a great, at Sushi look, One. That was a great episode. I know that you guys really enjoy when we bring guests on, which makes me feel really good, but also really bad, because I feel like you like our episodes more when it's not just us. No, you know what? I was thinking so, when I was listening to Kyle, you know what sucks? It's a win and, 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 lose. Like, we know a lot of really great people. Kyle's awesome. Yeah. And I'm like, man, like I want to share. And, then, and I know what happens is then people are like, man, I want to work with Kyle. And then it's like, I can't work with all of their friends. Yep. And But I mean, I get it. You should work with Ben Newman and David Meltzer and Kyle Draper. And you should work with all these people there. You know, everybody is so great. You know, Eric Cabral. Like, look at all these people that are around that are just doing amazing things. We're, we're super blessed. Yeah, Like, we we're super blessed. And we're super blessed for all of you that are watching the show. We, we appreciate thank you, you we showing up. so and, very much appreciate yeah. you. And be in, be in gratitude for yourself this week. You know, when you write that list of what I'm grateful for about you, yourself, remember you show up every single week. So many of you are super consistent and that says a lot. Yep. Yeah. We got to pack our bags because we're off to St. Louis because we're the off. VIP dinner is on Sunday. Make sure that you reach out. Hit up Jane. Jane at blackdiamondclub.com. Let's get you in. Do something crazy. Put out there that I'm going to go to this dinner. I want to see what happens. Put the pressure on me and Lacey to make some introductions mm -hmm. of people that will blow your mind. Let's figure out some things that you could do with them. Test the universe. Jane at blackdiamondclub.com. Let her know that you want to join us in St. Louis for an amazing over-the-top dinner on, su on Sunday. I promise you we'll make it worth your while. We'll be back next week right here, Sean and Lacey Live.